Hey, what's going on everybody? This is a really quick video. I'm going to show you how to make a copy of a directory and all of its contents in Gorm IDE. So a student just asked me, uh, they're following along with the Web Developer Bootcamp and they have a version of the application that they're working on and they want to go ahead and make a copy of it. So they kind of have like a backup before they start making the next set of changes from the course. So in this example, I've got a container open and I have this folder over here on the left hand side, test-version1. And it's got a file here and a folder. It could have any number of folders, but in this case I just have this one folder. And that folder has a file inside of it. So we want to make a duplicate of test-version1 and we want to name it test-version2. So we're inside of this directory. In this case it's just called MySQL. Yours maybe called something else like Web Developer Bootcamp or Taco or whatever you named it. So down here in the terminal, I'm inside of the MySQL directory, which mind you, that's the same directory that this test-version1 directory is inside of. So to look at this, see if we can make it a little bit bigger. Inside of MySQL, I can type ls, which is the list command, and that's just gonna list everything that's inside of MySQL. And so you can see I've got this test-version1 directory, so that's good. If you type ls and you see the directory that you wanna make a copy of, then you are in fact in the correct directory. So now we want to make a copy of it. So we do CP and then we're going to add some special options here what are called flags. So we put a space and a dash. Before we go into the dash the CP command if you haven't guessed already is stands, it stands for copy. So then we have a dash and we say A, V, and R. And if you want to understand what that means I can take you over to this tab here. This is where I learned this command just a moment ago. The dash A flag preserves the specified attributes such as the directory, uh, file mode, ownership, timestamps, and if possible additional attributes like context links, etc. all. So not all of that makes sense to me, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Basically it just means like, let's say you have special um, ownership settings over a folder, like you're an admin and you're able to copy and delete things out of that folder. You wanna maintain that for the copy of that folder. So when you're making a copy, you want it to be exactly the same as the previous version. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and use this dash A flag. Now the next one is verbose output. That's just going to give us any output necessary to let us know that this is working properly. It may not show anything, but it's just there in case there is any output, we'll be able to see it in the terminal. Dash R is copy directories recursively. So that means anything inside of this directory, make sure we copy all of its folders. And if you'll remember, inside of test version one, we had views. So we wanna make sure that views gets copied as well. And if there were subdirectories in there and so on, that they would also get copied. So you can see these are all three separate dash A, dash V, dash R. We're combining them all together with a single dash, AVR, no spaces. And then the first argument, after that with the space is going to be the name of the folder that you want to copy. So we'll do test dash version one and then a space and now the name of the folder that doesn't exist yet that you want to copy it to. So in this case we're going to call it test dash version two or v2 and now if we press enter or return you can see this is that verbose output. It's showing you that it copied the folder, the file, the subfolder and the file in the subfolder and then over here on the left hand side it hasn't updated it yet, so let's go ahead and close that and open it back up. There we go. So for whatever reason, I had to truncate my SQL and open it back up for it to refresh. And now you can see I have test dash version two here. When I did it the first time, I didn't have to refresh it, so you probably won't have to either. I've just been messing around with it, so it may have needed to refresh this second time around. There's also this little uh, icon up here for refresh. You can always just push that it will refresh the whole thing. So there it is, test dash version two. It's got views inside of it, app.js, just like test version one, and you are ready to begin editing your version two. Now, this is one way to make a quick backup of a folder and all of its files and directories inside of it. You could also be using Git for version tracking. I'm not gonna get into that in this video, but it, it's a little more advanced, but once you learn it, it's really easy. I actually offer a free Git course, so I'll link it at the end here with the, the next video icon or whatever it is. In any event, hopefully this was helpful for you. Uh, my daughter is waking up, so i got to go help her out. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Thanks, everyone, and we'll catch you later.